All right, how you guys doing? This is Jason Williams at Charm City PT. I'm here with Halibur Sports for our Trigger Point Tuesday uh, fitness tip. Um, today, we're gonna focus on correct posture while you're sitting at a desk or if you have some shoulder injury or pain or neck pain. Um, so we have Shay here. She's obviously sitting in an incorrect position. So we're gonna use the Trigger Point foam roller here. And you can see how she's slumped over. So you can actually use this as a prop for a seat. So we're gonna have her stand up and you have to go ahead and sit down now. So this is a little more correct posture that she should be sitting in at her desk. Um, so you notice her hip flexors are more of a slant down versus being sunken back. And then she's a little bit taller here and it takes the pressure off her neck too as well. And then if her desk was this high and she's using her mouse, obviously, you know, it's a little bit better for her and she's not rounding through her back. All right, so we're gonna start with working on her shoulders and her lats. So what you're gonna do is you come down to the floor here and the trigger point foam rolls and go underneath of your shoulder. Very good. So it's the one just underneath the armpit. Okay. So what she's gonna do is let her elbow drop down and she's gonna bend her elbow and her hand in and then she's gonna go up and down and do about 10, 12 reps just like that. Just to kind of find where the knots are. So again, remember with foam rolling, you're essentially just kind of getting those knots or the adhesions to diminish by using the foam roller. So it gets what stretching doesn't get. So you're gonna kind of get that length by using the foam roller good. So how's that feel? Bad but good. Bad but good, that's what we like to hear. So what you're gonna do here is once she goes back down, you're gonna hold it there. I want you to lean back for me and then go forward and then back, right. So back here is where she's gonna feel a lot of uh, this tension and, and pressure in her shoulder. And uh, so that's in her lap. Uh, and if her neck gets tired, she could take her hand, make a fist. Yep, bring that right underneath there. And that's gonna take that pressure off her neck if it starts to slump over a little bit too much. How's that feel? Still hurts, yeah. So again, this is great to loosen up the traps, the neck. If you're a runner, if you wanna get a little more range of motion in those arms, it's another great exercise to do. Good. Yeah. So again, you wanna do this for about 90 seconds on each side. She would switch over and do the other side for another 90 seconds. And I think you're good. How you feeling? Feeling really good. All right, cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. Thank you guys for checking in. We'll see you guys next time for our Trigger Point Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed the tips that we had today, go ahead to hoppersports.com and get the Trigger Points from Roller Grid. Thank you and see you guys next time.